Hey everybody, welcome back to another video uh, on a beautiful uh, when Wisconsin Wednesday look. It's the first goose of the season flying over right there. And uh, it is August 31st. Um, this video is recorded and dropped on the same day because tomorrow is early teal season. And so I've got a sweet teal deal yard sale going on over here. Um, and I'm just going to walk you through kind of what I use and shoot. So uh, this is a Browning A5 12 gauge chambered in three and a half. It's got that heavy shot medium range choke on there. Um, as far as decoys go, I run two mojos. They're both on remotes. So that makes life real easy. Geese don't particularly like mojos. So having them on a remote can let me turn them on and turn them off if we have geese flying over. Got our decoys. Um, I run a handful of Avian X uh, mallards and some real cheap, I think these are flambo, tangle free. Some real cheap tangle free teal decoys. Um, about a dozen and a half of those or so. And uh, some mallards. The mallards give you a little size. They give the birds a little something to look at. So next we've got our this is like one of the best jackets out there. It's like breathable enough that you won't get too hot and it's um, waterproof and cool enough that if you like that, if it is a little chilly and it is a little rainy, um, keep you warm. We've got our Drake EQ waiter three in one waiting system. Um, I am going to go through I, th these, uh, these seams here did not hold up great through the trapping season. So I'm gonna go through every year. Uh, usually I give myself a little more time than this, but usually every year I go through and I will actually flex seal spray all the seams on my waders because I don't want to get wet. Um, we've got our Baronet Field Shield Blind. Um, And one thing I didn't realize about this blind uh, during turkey season is that it actually has straps for brush. So I'll actually be able to brush this in much better than it was brushed in for um, turkey season. Sit. All right, and then we've got our blind bag over here. Um, I love the heavy uh, wings for our mojos and the mojo remote. I gotta make sure all my batteries there are good. Got my lucky duck hunting hat. Got a lucky Borat, one of my kids. I love heavy metal shot. Um, that's what I like to shoot. So I got a couple boxes of the three and a half inch number fours in here. Headlamp. These I likely won't take out with me, but these are just my chokes. Shotgun. Got my cork and lighter for some face paint. And I got my duck calls. So this uh, this is my goose. That's one of my goose calls. Ducks Fear Me. It's a custom call company. They've made me um, a goose call and a duck call. This, I love this goose call. It's softer, a little raspier. And I've got um, an acrylic from Loudmouth Calls. It's the Goose Reaper. Um, teal whistle and then I got my elite calls I've got my elite duck calls freak and my elite duck calls uh, big hurricane um, and then last certainly not least maybe most important because you know what they say about duck hunting 90% of the time when you're out you don't need a dog the 10% of the time you're out and you need a dog is why you bring a dog 100% of the time. This is Gryffindor's new seeker, Harry Pupper. Say hi, Griff. Griff. Say hi. Yes. Griff. Griff is doing great. Um, this is our DTS. You can't really see it now. But that's our dog training system, DTS. Uh, 
H20 1820 plus. Um, you can set up three collars on here. You've got the Nick, the continuous, and up to 15 power settings here. You've got a vibe and stem and just a vibrate. Um, I love these collars. I'm gonna getting a, an attachment or an add-on for him because he'll be coming to South Dakota with us uh, this year. Um, the one thing that's not pictured here that you don't see that I use are um, some 10 foot pieces of conduit for my mojos. And they're just right here. They're on my trap wall. They're just right here. Big long 10 foot pieces of conduit. And the reason I use those is because I like to have a lot of motion in my teal spread. And uh, those big, long, tall pieces of conduit, see how good he's doing with his training, will um, help you get your mojos way up in the air. So um, I'll put one up high, put one down low, um, and we'll get everything squared away. We'll get the truck packed up tonight. Creamy Dave is coming with, as always. We might have my buddy Evan, who uh, drove to Missouri, um, to help me pick up Griff. He might be coming along as well. But um, stay tuned. This week is going to be action-packed. There's going to be a lot of blue wing teal hunting. And the last thing I wanted to show you. This is uh, Waterfowler's Journal. And we're going to have two big firsts this teal season. First, Griff is going to run his very first hunt. And we are very excited about that. Secondly, um, on Labor Day, September 5th, one day after my daughter's fifth birthday and on my wife's birthday, my oldest daughter is going to be coming along for her very first time. So um, this journal is pretty cool. <clears throat> I love it. You can put a ton of stuff in here. Um, I like that it helps you kind of like organize your thoughts um, about the hunt. Um, and uh, yeah, so sit. Until next time, tight lines, tight chains, shoot straight.